down no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a fully cloak. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, this is Nagato's Revenge and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be showcasing on how to turn your PlayStation Classic to a Nintendo DS with RetroArch and how to play DS games via from your PlayStation Classic. With that being said as well, please be sure to follow my latest social medias so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials for my channel. And as well, if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form, you can feel free to donate via PayPal. I will have a PayPal um, link in the description below or right now on the screen, you could just go ahead and type in in and your url bar is fully optional and then you know it's not required of course but with that being said and stated out the way um here are some of the prerequisites and things you'll need for this video before getting started so you'll need a playstation classic you also need a usb stick preferably a 2.0 that is formatted to fat32 and then labeled as sony in all capital letters and it's required that this is you know required um, for that Sony part to be in all caps and I'll explain a little bit more about that later on in the video of course you need your Nintendo uh, DS ROMs or you know games I won't provide any links to that as well you could just use Google and as well you need a PlayStation Classic Nintendo DS setup all in one zip file and that's where all of the files we need for this video will be contained at and I already uh, pre-made this dot zip so it's very easy to install so basically I just took all of the uh, files that are needed and just put it all into one so you could just drag and drop from your USB to your you know classic and it's much easier instead of like you know opening up like a thousand zip files on your desktop and last but not least you need a usb cable to power your classic so anything that charges like the playstation 4 or you know your regular android iphone or excuse me android phone you could do for that process and as well i just want to give a special thanks out to retro arc um auto bleam developers and also to my fans and supporters who always you know look through my stuff you know leave good comments and also check out my you know content via my channel with that being said we could go ahead and get started on the tutorial meet you guys there the prerequisites set up what we could do now is go ahead and get started on the tutorial so as i was stating i'll have a link in the description below for my playstation classic nintendo ds setup all in one file and also i have my nintendo ds games which i won't provide you know any links for that but i have a few games here that i was testing out so i have mario kart ds and i'm crossing you know new super mario bros and i'll be playing that uh, a few in a second but i'm going to be showing you guys on how to set this up so the easiest way i like to do my stuff is very organized so what I like to do is just go ahead and create a Nintendo DS uh, games folder go ahead and put all my games into that slot and then what we're going to do is go ahead and take our dot zip folder right click over it and then we're just going to go ahead and extract files here if you have WinRAR, you could do this as well and I'll have a link in the description below on how to download a uh, Renoir as well so I'm just going to go ahead and set OK and now basically what is happening I am just extracting my PlayStation Classic all in one uh, folder and this is basically all of the contents we're just going to go ahead and drag and drop via to our USB so once that uh, process is done and it's finishing extracting what we're going to do is go ahead and plug in our USB to our PC so here is mine and as stated in the prerequisite as I noted you need to label this all in caps as Sony but before that we need to also make sure it's FAT32 so the easiest way to do that is just go ahead and plug in your USB Go ahead and hit right click scroll all the way down to where it states uh, format and then right here this is my uh, capacity go ahead and choose the highest one for your choice as well where it says fat 32 default go ahead and switch it to a uh, fat 32 if it's on x fat or tfs just go ahead and switch to fat 32 where it says allocation unit size for bytes just go ahead and hit default allocation and then for volume label very important so just go ahead i'm gonna just type it you guys can see label it as stony and then go ahead and hit but before you do this process if you do have any other you know uh, items or documents on your flash drive just go ahead and back it up i do recommend um you know just investing in you know a cheap 64 gigabyte usb drive uh you can find them on amazon for like ten dollars or twelve dollars they're relatively very cheap now but with that being stated um all we got to do is go ahead and hit okay and then what should happen is is basically um it's going to reformat and you're going to see a little window via your uh desktop in a second so as shown here it says format complete 
that's what we're going to do now so i'm going to close out of this and now as shown here my playstation all in one classic file this is where we're going to go ahead and set up basically our stuff so right here in our roms folder i already have a pre-made folder for your guys so you could just put where it says nds this is standing for nintendo ds games all we have to do is very simple just go ahead and drag our ds games into that folder right here and now we could go ahead i'm going to delete this uh, file since i don't need it anymore and now what we need to do is just go ahead and drag and drop via from our um, pc to our usb so that's it right here and then what i'm going to do now is just go ahead and pause the video and then once this process is done i'll come back once it's finished a few moments later all right guys as shown here basically all of my files has successfully copied over from my pc to my usb what i'm going to do since it's on my root or this folder is on the root what we need to do is just go ahead and drag and drop all of our files to the root of our usb and then we could go ahead and just delete that uh playstation classic nintendo ds uh, setup file since there is nothing in here as shown here so that's what i'm basically going to be doing now for that part and then what we need to do now is just go ahead and safely eject out our USB by just right clicking over here. And then where it says eject your USB, yours will have probably a different name of mine, of course. So what we need to do now is go straight to the PlayStation Classic and get that set up. And then from there, we could be able to set up RetroArch and then we could go ahead and play our Nintendo DS game. So I'll meet you guys back onto the PlayStation Classic. All right guys, so as shown here, we're back onto the PlayStation Classic. What we need to do is go ahead and plug in our USB in without the USB cable that is plugged into our PlayStation Classic. So make sure you plug your USB stick in first. But right now, what I'm doing is just basically putting my USB stick in and then just wait for the power button to show up and then we could just turn our system on and then Auto Bleam should pop up in a few seconds. Seconds later. Alright guys, so as shown on the screen, this is auto bleam. So what we need to do now is just go ahead and hit circle or X on your thing. And then what we need to do is go ahead and press square to boot up RetroArch. And since it's your first time up setting this up, you should get a black screen. And if not, it will probably reset your uh, PlayStation Classic once. But as shown here, um, this is RetroArch and this is how it should look like for you. But what we need to do now is go ahead and find our games of choice. So this is what I'm going to be doing. Doing now so I'm gonna go into load content by pressing X scrolling all the way down to start directory and you should see your NDS folder and now if you put your games onto this segment right here it should pop up so the first game I'm gonna be showcasing to y'all guys is Mario Kart DS and then I'm just gonna use the drastic launcher RB since I that's the only emulator I personally took it out so far but as shown here this is um you know the game running in real time and from what it looks like the emulation is pretty solid and smooth but just to uh showcase some options if you hit basically l2 on your controller you can see all of your options so if you want to go ahead and you know do a safe state or a low state for return to game you could do that as well as well in these options if you go to change options by hitting circle you could go ahead and swap your uh orientation so if you just want to see basically just the front screen on the ds you could kind of emulate that just like this shown as here and then if you want to go ahead and back out to change options then scroll to back to screen orientation and you want a uh, horizontal it basically puts two of the screens side by side so depending on how you want to have your ds uh set up basically on your tv for your preference um that's the way you could do it however you like but for me i personally like um the vertical one for now since i'm more used to it that way but what i'm going to do is go ahead and showcase some gameplay of mario kart so i'm just going to go ahead and just pick some random stuff real quick so i won't be doing this for too long just to show how you know smooth the emulator runs and you know looking at this on the big or excuse me big screen via hdmi is you know fantastic and you know i never you know had a ds as a kid i was more of a ps2 guy um, back in the day but um it still looks pretty nice and fun so that's just one of the showcases i want to show now so i can see the game is running pretty fine you know there's no major bugs there's sometimes there's like some slowdown or mario kart from what i'm testing but i was playing uh earlier um animal crossing so i'll go ahead and back out of drastic 
and then I'll try to showcase some Animal Crossing on the screen right now. Let me see if it's still in my history. All right, yeah, here's Animal Crossing Wild World. I'm gonna go ahead and run the game, and then I'm just gonna, you know, showcase that for a second. But yeah, that's essentially how you run uh, Nintendo DS games on your PlayStation Classic. Hopefully, um, you know, in the future, RetroArch could get this for the PS4 or also for, you know, the um, PS Vita, because I would love to play, you know, DS games on the go on my Vita. But as shown here, this is uh, Animal Crossing, and then yeah. But with that being said, my name is Nagato. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.